Hi folks, this is Mohan Dhanagavan. Today the topic is Python certification from Microsoft code is MS98381. So when I came across Python, so I just searched for the certification on Python. So obviously in Python foundation are the who is the owner of the Python. So they don't have the certification or any, uh, let's say exams, but still we have the certification from the Microsoft well-known company from everyone. Before getting into certification, just people have uh, different kind of opinions in case of certifications. Somebody will feel like I have already experienced, why do we need the certification? Or somebody will tell, let's say I have real time experience, certification is not required. Or somebody will have the experience like, uh, let's say some people will create the fake certification. So there is no value for the real and fake certification. So it will not make any sense. So these are the some negative points about the certification, but still certification has its own value and it definitely helps you to move forward. But the main code I saw in online, just I want to share you with the people. A certificate does not make you certified. Attitude, performance, commitment to self and team and this and a certificate make you certified. So certified itself will not be enough, but still it's a sign of encouragement, it's sign of a completion. It will make you to have a self-confidence as well. And it in the quick process of interview or quick process of understanding or the quick way to get into project. So that time it will make a different impact to the owners or to the interviewer or to the project people. But it will be the entry, but after that, as it mentioned here, attitude and performance and commitment to the self not only for the self, but as well as for the team. So it make us a real certified. So with this, just we will going. Python MS98381. So first we will see what is MS98381. Microsoft Certified Professional Exam for Python. The name is Introduction to Programming Using Python. So it's just an introduction. It's not about the full concept or it's not about the advanced concept like data scientist or the complex numbers. So those are not covered in this. It is only the entry level and it has only the basic understanding and the basic values from the Python. And why do we need Python certification? Still, if you have the question. So as we discussed sometime back as a proof of strong basic knowledge, even sometime when we learn that we will feel like we learned something, but still when you come to the coding level, then we will be having some problems. So that time you need to have the strong basic knowledge. Again, we will go back. But if you learn for certification for really for the certification purpose and for the knowledge, practical knowledge, then we will go through each and every point. Then we will get the strong basic knowledge. And one more point is, let's say sometime we will be driven for the problem based. For instance, I am telling, if you have any problem, to solve the problem, we will go through the different links or different uh, values or methods or modules in the Python and we will solve it. But if you go for a certification, we will go through all the modules, main modules, and we will understand the different possibilities and the availability of the Python codes so that we will have a broad idea. So in case of any problem, we will have a different approaches rather than a single approach or rather than going to the different site and seeing for the help. So that is the one first point and certificate from well-known industry. So this certification is not from a local communication, I mean local computer center or any other third parties. It's directly from the Microsoft. It's a well-known and it's a well-certified. So it will have a higher value in market. And it is very less fee when compared to other certifications. So we will see the fees detail, fee details as well. But uh, when compared to other certifications, it's very less fee, I can tell. And it's still up to others uh, whether to decide this less fee or more fee. It's around uh, 5K overall, including the taxes. And easy to get into the Python projects. So if we have a basic idea or the base Python knowledge, so it will be very easy to the, get into the Python projects because that will be the entry criteria or the entry knowledge level they expect in the any Python projects. And easy to upgrade for Python, data science, web development, machine learning, etc. So what does it mean? 
so coming days data is data usage is increasing very rapidly so definitely we need to have the data handling mechanism in case of any application regardless of application regardless of domain we need to handle a huge data that's for sure so in that case big data hadoop those are the things but still the entry or the learning for the big data or hadoop this will definitely require some strong basic knowledge on java c c++ but the people who are very let's say i want to learn in a easy way i don't want a very difficult code so for those kind of people python will be the very good one and it looks like very simple but as soon as you learn this one it will help you to move forward in the field of data science web development machine learning and you will feel very easy to upgrade for python next level so rather than speaking more on the topic just we will go to the site and see so what is actually the ms98301 and what is the fees details and the, what are the exam centers and what are the topics and uh, as usual we will see some sample how the sample will look like and uh, how many marks or how many questions will be available for the exam and time frame so let's get into the the official site microsoft so this is a url i mentioned the same will be mentioned in the video comment session as well so introduction to programming using python so if we are not in united states for instance i am from india so i will just look for the india so it is 3696 it's excluding taxes along with taxes it will come around 4k or 4.1k and we have two kinds of uh, let's say exam centers pearson and setiport so i hope pearson will be the very i mean well known exam centers so it will be available all over the india and here we have another link so in most of the companies we have the option to reimbursement our examination or our certification fees details so just click on this so it will prepare a mail as well for you so it is like just uh, you are requesting your boss or manager to get a certification i mean to get the certification and you are telling what are the benefits out of that so in case of if you are reimbursing this mail may be helpful or if you tell really in person or if you frame better mail than this that will be good so what are the things covered here we have the detailed syllabus operations using data types and operators 20 to 25 percentage and control flow decision loops 25 to 30 percentage input output operations document structure code so it is uh, including indentation white space comments documentation strings generate documentation using pydoc signatures default value return def pause and troubleshooting error handling and perform operation using modules and tools so modules in the sense it's not about all the modules available for python because it's a numerous modules available for python but still we have some basic and standard modules which are like input output system os and os path random and math datetime random this will be the very basic level modules which we will be using for any simple applications and we have here a practice test so it will be available in so many languages so we can go with english and who should take this exam so the people who know the basics of python can take this exam especially there is no prior experience is required for this just any kind of student even student can take this one but at least one week of time is required to prepare for this exam to understand the basics of python and it has some other links also how to see the overview and what are the things
and python 3.6 or later we need to refer because python has two versions python 2 and python 3 so the current one and the latest one is python 3.6 So more details you can go through this and it has separate links also. See for example, variety of question types. So it will be the objective type or subjective type or how it can be. So active screen, best answer, bill list, case studies, hot area, multiple choice, repeated answer choices short answer mark review review screen so it has the types and it has the videos as well so videos we can go through and we can understand how it looks like So for registering this one, I just we need to have the user account for this Microsoft site as well. It's a simple process we can follow and we can create the user ID and password. And as I mentioned earlier, it will be available in any center. So you can go through that and we can schedule the exam. So thanks all, thanks for watching. And I hope uh, most of us can uh, just attend this certification. It will be definitely useful, not only for the short term goal, it will be for long term goal as well. But still we have the good opinion or good self-confidence on Python if we complete this certification. So it's not mandatory, but it's definitely helpful. So thanks all, thanks for watching, have a nice day.